Good morning. I'm very happy to be here talking about the coming winter season with you all today. I'm very glad to be joined by our colleagues here at the Pennsylvania Emergency Management Agency and the Pennsylvania Turnpike. Now, I know it certainly doesn't feel like it, especially with the temperatures out there today, but before we know it, we'll see snow and ice, and PennDOT is ready. In fact, for us, winter never really ends. We've been preparing for this winter since the last one uh, earlier this year, and believe it or not, it was as late as May. We are responsible for over 95,000 miles of snow lane miles across the state, which is more than all the New England states combined. We have nearly $200 million budgeted for the statewide winter operations, and we're ready to deploy about 4,700 on-the-road workers to brave the winter and to keep our roads passable. We have more than 560,000 tons of salt stockpiled across the state, and we'll take additional deliveries as the season goes on. Last year, we used over 896,000 tons of salt. Keeping our roads as safe as possible in the winter is a team effort, and we're looking for people to join us this season. We have hundreds of job openings from equipment operators to our diesel mechanics to even welders. I encourage anyone interested in these opportunities to visit employment.pa.gov. Those who do join our team will certainly know what we already all know. Winter maintenance is a huge responsibility, and we take that very seriously. Our staff must monitor equipment, traffic, and the weather in all sorts of conditions at all hours. This is truly a 24-7 operation. We need your help to keep this season a safe one. We urge drivers to allow plenty of space to plow operators so that they can perform their jobs effectively and safely. Never try to plow to pass a plow chain operation as it is dangerous both for you, the motorist, as well as the plow operators. We also remind motorists that during winter events, the department's goal is to keep the roads passable, not completely free of snow and ice. The heavier the traffic or the heavier the snowfall, the longer it may take our snowplow drivers to complete their route. With each storm, we will continue to treat roadways throughout the storm until the roads are clear. We understand that any decisions we make to restrict certain kinds of traffic on our interstate networks and some limited access freeways like commercial motor vehicles, for example, have impacts to various commodities, essential supplies, and overall commerce. We do take those decisions very seriously and those decisions are made collaboratively among PennDOT, the Pennsylvania State Police, the Emergency Management Agency, and the Turnpike Commission. Commoter, uh, com sorry, commercial motor vehicles, or CMVs, uh, those restrictions are a critical tool in preventing winter incidents that occur on our interstate system and in keeping the public safe, including those truck drivers. Whenever restrictions are made, we communicate those to industry as soon as we can so that they can plan accordingly. We are also as flexible as possible with implementing those restrictions based on the weather that we're seeing, including delaying implementation if that's appropriate, and adjusting which interstates are being impacted, as well as removing those restrictions as soon as possible uh, while we're keeping safety in the forefront. We strive to keep at least one, or one interstate open and available for commerce uh, to continue those operations but we must make those decisions on forecasted weather conditions that are, of course, changing. We tailor those restrictions based on the forecast we have, and we use a mix of appropriate restrictions, ranging from a ban on empty uh, commercial vehicles to a full commercial restriction. We know that the CMV restrictions <clears throat> work, but we also continue to review and evaluate the process to look for any improvements that we can. Again, these are very effective in making sure that we keep safety on the roadways. Our commercial partners and the overall public are urged to use our 511 PA service year round, and winter specific tools are available for this season. For example, at 511pa.com, you can see snow plow locations and when all state roads were last plowed. This is possible because we've equipped more than 2,500 of our Pendate owned and rented plow trucks with automated vehicle location locator technology, or AVL. The AVL unit in each truck sends a cellular signal through the system showing where a truck is located and where it's been, 
So with this, you'll be able to determine how long that route has been taking and when's the next time the plow might be coming around to your area. I also encourage motorists to check 511pa.com whenever they travel. In addition to over a thousand traffic cameras that can give you that real time view of what's happening on the roadways, roadway alerts and winter roadway conditions are also available for major highways. But most importantly, if you encounter snow and ice on the roadway, please remember to slow down. Allow extra room between the travelers in front of you. And also please do not drive distracted. Keep the phone down and off and turn down the radio, two hands on the wheel. Regarding last year, our preliminary data shows that last year there were 301 crashes on snow and ice covered roadways, resulting in 143 uh, injuries and sadly four fatalities. With the right pr preparations and your participation, I hope that we can all get home safely every, each and every day this winter season and every day. And now it gives me great pleasure to introduce Pennsylvania Emergency Management Agency Director, Randy Patfield. Randy. Thank you, Melissa, and good morning, everyone. As you've heard, I'm here today with my colleagues from the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation and the Turnpike Commission to discuss winter weather preparations that our agencies are taking for the winter weather season. While it may seem early to be discussing these winter weather, or winter weather uh, considering we just entered into fall, as our agencies are taking steps to make sure that we're adequ adequately prepared for winter weather, we'd also like to take this opportunity to not only let you know what we're doing, but also provide information on how you can be prepared as well as the public. In Pennsylvania, we're definitely not immune to the effects of winter weather, as it drastically impacts not only travel within the state, but also a number of other essential operations during the winter season. In looking at our weather data, we know that intense precipitation events where we receive significant amounts of rain over a short period of time are becoming the norm. This translates into winter weather systems where significant snowfall rates, especially at the outset of storms, can rapidly overwhelm snowfall clearance operations, make roads impassable in a short period of time, and strand motorists. We have also seen the devastating effects of snow squalls that have resulted in large, complex accidents that have taxed local emergency response organizations, left the roadway closed for hours, or in some cases, days, and have resulted in numerous injuries and loss of life. With these dynamic situations, it is critical that the public understand how rapidly uh, conditions can change and be prepared to make appropriate decisions to lessen the possibility of being stranded on the roadway or having their lives or the lives of their loved ones adversely impacted during the winter. Let's start out with reviewing notifications issued by the National Weather Service, what they mean and some things that you should take into consideration when they are issued. Winter weather advisories are issued when there's a threat of winter weather and wintery precipitation that may impact your travel plans, but is not a immediate threat to life or safety if basic precautions are taken. In these situations, you should monitor trusted, trusted weather sources, consult travel resources such as the state's 511 network, as Deputy Secretary Batula indicated at www.511pa.com, for up-to-date travel information. Allow extra travel time and be aware of potentially changing travel conditions. The key here when advisories are issued is the awareness and making sure that you continually monitor the evolving situation. Winter storm watches are issued when conditions are favorable for a winter storm event, which is a threat to life or potentially a threat to life or property. When these are issued, the public should continue to monitor trusted weather sources for the developing situation, consider modifying plans if their events are scheduled to occur during times of potential impacts, and consider taking additional preparation steps, such as ensuring they have adequate food, water, medication, and other supplies on hand in case they are needed. Watches are usually issued a day or two in advance of any impacts from a winter storm. Winter storm warnings are issued when winter weather is imminent and forecast to impact the areas listed in the warnings. This includes about a half foot of snow in a day or significant icing situations. When a warning is issued, individuals should strongly consider modifying, limiting, or suspending their travel during high impact times. If you must travel during this time, you should plan your trip accordingly by getting up-to-date roadway information 
uh, and conditions, allowing extra time to get to your destination, having an alternate route should your primary route become impassable, and being prepared should you become stranded on the roadway. Snow squall warnings are issued when a snow squall is forecast to impact your area in a very short period of time. Taking the appropriate action when these are issued is essential to preventing significant accidents as conditions can rapidly deteriorate. If you find yourself traveling into a warned area, the only safe location is to exit the roadway and wait until the squall passes. Taking prompt action when the warning is issued is key to your safety. Continuing to travel until you run into the squall could have a tragic outcome as it is usually too late to take action. The best option is to avoid travel altogether when dangerous snow squall conditions are in the forecast. Winter weather not only impacts travel within the Commonwealth, but can also strand or isolate individuals in their homes for extended periods of time, sometimes without the benefit of utilities such as electricity. Whether you're traveling or stranded at home, it is always a good idea to have an emergency kit available with supplies in case you need it. The contents of a kit may vary depending on the situation, but if you're traveling, consider things such as blankets or a sleeping bag, a cell phone charger, water, snacks, a snow shovel, and anything you would need to support very young children, those with special health care needs, or pets if they are traveling with you. If you are building a home emergency kit, consider items such as, supply, or such as a supply of shelf-stable food, water, battery chargers, a battery-operated radio, flashlights with spare batteries, and any other supplies you would need for very young children, older adults, or those with special needs or pets. For information on other items to consider, please visit ready.pa.gov and click on the Be Prepared link at the top of the page. The keys to being prepared for winter weather include individual awareness and some level of pre-planning. Every year, we hear how we should be used to dealing with winter weather since we live in Pennsylvania. However, every year during the winter, we see tragic situations that could have been prevented if individuals would have heeded the information as being provided through their trusted weather sources, taken appropriate action, and been adequately prepared for impacts. The more we work together across the state agencies and all levels of government, the better the outcomes. But we can't do it alone. It takes a well-informed and prepared public to lessen the impacts from winter weather across the state. And now I'd like to turn it over to Craig Shuey, Pennsylvania Turnpike Commission Chief of Operations to discuss their preparations. Thank you, Melissa and Randy. I appreciate the opportunity to address you folks today. My colleagues have noted and, and very clearly discussed the main issues that are going to face us in winter, but I want to talk a little bit about how the Pennsylvania Turnpike will respond. Preparation and access to information, updated information is important at any time, but it becomes especially critical as we head into the winter season and severe weather begins. The Pennsylvania Turnpike snow and winter prep is on our minds and part of our operations all year. So that means that once the first snows begin to fall, we are prepared. Each year, we fully ready ourselves to confront winter elements by preparing our entire fleet of snow of trucks, plows, and salt spreaders. All of our more than 400 licensed equipment operators go through the annual Snow Academy training, and they, begin, they will activate their 24-7 staffing, staffing schedule this fall. Our professional crews have worked hard to prepare for upcoming winter season, and they are ready. Turnpike traffic and weather operations are also at the ready. The team's focus is to fully understand the conditions on the roadway and keep the turnpike system as free of snow, snow and ice and traffic crashes as is possible. We monitor the weather every day and use early warning detection. When hazardous conditions are forecast, we plan out two or three days in advance of a storm. We have pre-event meetings with all departments to discuss planning, activation, and any other issues that may occur. We also activate our traffic command center and keep in constant contact with our, and coordination with our partners at Pima and PennDOT. Pennsylvanians know that our, winter, our weather can go from warm and sunny to cold and icy fairly quickly. Please take time now to assure that your vehicles are ready for wintry weather. Inspect your vehicle to be sure that wipers and tires will perform well. Check antifreeze levels and use windshield washer solutions suitable for freezing weather. And even though it's getting more and more costly, keep your gas 
at least half full, gas tank half full, to promote uh, good preparedness. Also, now is the time to download the 511 app to have access to tra traffic delay warnings, weather forecasts, traffic speed information for all Pennsylvania major roadways. You can be ready for what's up ahead with the swipe of a screen, and when the bad weather comes, it is where you can readily find all of our roadway speed restrictions. I'd just like to add, as my, as my colleagues had mentioned, that there are a couple of things that are key to maintaining safety during winter, or during winter snowstorms. If you can avoid traveling, please do. If you are traveling, maintain sufficient distance between your vehicle and the next to prepare for early or quick stops. And at all times, be prepared for stoppages and waiting along the roadway. Uh, these things can occur. They are a part of winter, uh, winter operations every year. And while we would like you to stay off the road, there are literally millions of people who travel the road safely in winter, and they have one thing in common. They heed these warnings, they operate their vehicles slowly and effectively, and they are prepared for winter uh, in the best way possible. Thank you.